Sad choice as advertising in red invented by Teed Sad choice as advertising in red invented by Teed Sangland's internal dressing room policing unit. Was in full swing when Southgate was a young player. In those days, they even had nicknames that could have slotted straight into the Bill, Rodders, Psycho and the Governor. If a young star stepped out of line in the build-up to Euro 96, they were quietly returned to the straight and narrow by a senior player. No disciplinary procedure, no paperwork, just a quiet, mind how you go, son old school. It was not all by the book, but those influential characters knew where the line was. Drawn and generally, by hook or by crook, kept everybody the right side of it. Take the infamous dentist chair for example. Terry Venables was a manager long enough in the tooth to recognize that Paul Gascoigne, Teddy Sheringham, Robbie Fowler and Steve McManaman were the kind of players who occasionally had to burn off their exuberant energy. And so ultimately he forgave them. But when relative new boy Southgate thought about joining them on a night out in Hong Kong, he promptly had his collar felt. I had got pally with Stuart Pearce and I said to him, we're having a night out with the lads. Southgate once recalled. He said, not in my experience of England if you go out for a drink it's as if nobody has ever drunk before in their lives, my advice is have it, I just got in the squad. Sometimes advice like that is good, what is missing from the third youngest England World Cup squad is that similar kind of in-house disciplinary counselling. Speaking after a match in which Raheem Sterling had again attracted the wrong kind of headlines. Southgate admitted his dressing room was not yet at the stage it could police itself. I don't think we are quite at that stage where they're ready to do that, he said. In an ideal world in any sport you have experienced senior players who take control of situations, but always with the manager calling the shots, I don't think they are quite ready to take total ownership of those decisions because of their age and their experience, but also it is wrong not to give them some ownership and responsibility because without it how will they grow and improve? And you have to accept at times there will be mistakes, in the end it is for the long-term benefit of the team, but I also know when to step in to set the tone and I know with each player that is slightly different. But they will react off the leader and that leader has to be strong, Harry Kane's strength. of character is unquestioned but his style is to lead by example rather than word. Gary Cahill could perhaps step into the breach but his credibility has been undermined by the last-minute nature of his booking aboard the plane. Jordan Henderson has similar selection insecurities. For now, Southgate is captaining the side as well as managing it. Ironically, the role he only formally achieved for the second half of one game at Pride Park against Mexico in 2001 during an era when the England team was full of dressing room leaders. So far, he seems to have struck the right balance between being the FA disciplinarian his position demands and the guiding light his players need. That long walk with Sterling round St George's Park when the Manchester City player turned up for World Cup duty a day late certainly seemed to do some good. Sterling arrived back at the hotel reception keen to apologise to the rest of the squad and in no doubt about the standards expected of him. In return, Southgate was eloquent in his defence of Sterling when the latter was wrongly cast as a villain over his gun tattoo by people who had only bothered to learn half the story. The diving is a habit the 22-year-old simply has to rid himself of, you can't have black and white rules. Southgate said, we try to manage the group the best way possible and as I say it is important the players feel protected, but as wedding crasher Wayne Rooney learned, despite publicly supporting his captain, Southgate never played England's top scorer. Again after his tired and emotional appearance while on England duty, don't mistake that understanding is some sort of softness, we also need discipline in the way we work and we need that balance. Southgate insisted. I have been a player and I know that when things get sloppy, standards drop. We have to make sure they do not drop. 